Peace, welcome to Faith Expressions. I am the Father, and I am the Son, and I am the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would like to make this video as tribute to the Holy Father Emeritus, Pope Benedict XVI. His name, we used to know him as jo Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger. Elected Pope, he chose the name Benedict. And so we know him as Pope Benedict XVI. Three things. I was still in Rome as a student. I was a seminarian in Rome from 1992 until 2001 because I was there in Rome from my bachelor's degree until my doctorate degree. He was then the prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith as uh, St. John Paul II uh, uh, put him in charge of that congregation. As I've said, three things I would like uh, to share. First, at the time when I had the, those privileged experiences to see him, to hear him in our university, he, he came. Then I met him in the Vatican Square several times. The idea that I would like to arrive at is he projects an aura of greatness and yet a sense of humility, simplicity, and meekness. The aura of greatness. When the name Joseph Ratzinger is given, is always associated with a great theologian and an intelligent man, one who can speak in a way that truly presents the church to our time with the language of our time. He is remembered like St. John Paul II who can explain and can present to the world the true spirit of the Second Vatican Council. When he was already Pope Benedict, in his writings, he would, for example, uh, correct comments, the mentioning of the, of the name of God, Yahweh. He made mention that uh, we should not use that and as ordinary as we would like. Uh, he, so, in his greatness, intelligence, and yet with the aura of humility, meekness, and simplicity, in the way I experienced and I, I've heard of him, he speaks soft voice. He didn't have the tone when he speaks. I could only, I can make the comparison. When John Paul II would speak, he speaks with a voice that's full, a projected, confident, but with the voice, tone of voice of Benedict or of Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger, it was a voice that is, uh, I would say, subdued, calm, uh, soft-spoken. So an aura of greatness and yet a sense of simplicity, meekness, and humility. And I would like in my own life to remember that. The second thing I would like also to remember him is, yes, when he chose to resign. And many times indeed, the resignation, his resignation, has that sense and people interpreting it kind of negative, especially from the social media, how they projected. For me, there are two things about his resignation. The first thing is, he was so humble, honest, sincere of himself that yes, he wants the maximization of service to the Lord and the maximization of service to the Mother Church. If he himself, and by his own uh, estimation and assessment, 
he cannot do his own expectation, then he humbled himself. It could be heartbreaking for many people and even for him. But he chose that road. And I believe that is admirable rather than uh, many thoughts that are could be negative about him. And the second thing about that resignation is that he also gave now the precedence that if there will be other popes who will resign, they will no longer go back or to, the, to the spotlight of the world. He gave this precedence, life of seclusion, life that is cloistered, life that is contemplative. So I believe that is admirable for him to, to make that example in our uh, modern times, in our contemporary age, a uh, Pope who would do the same that he did, then they would go into seclusion. The third thing that I would like to share and comment on is maybe also this is, this is, this is a question for you. He is dressed in red, the color of the cardinal. And his shoes, he is wearing black. He is not wearing with the clothes of the papacy. And yet, and this is in my mind, and yet when he was alive, he was wearing the papal clothes, the color white. Of course, the idea is precisely because there is a reigning, there is a reigning pope, etc., etc. For me, this is how human is the church. The church is a divine institution and yet a human institution. And so this is so human, whoever has decided that way, they are concerned of human wrappings. My, in my own mind, in my own opinion, when he was alive, he was allowed to wear the papal white collar. Why could he not wear the papal collar? And when in fact also, in our prayer, we are going to call him Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, for for whatever that is, because I believe, as I have said, Joseph Pope Benedict the Sixteenth himself is a man who is humble, who is meek, who is simple. He wouldn't even mind human wrappings, but the idea there is to give the due honor. But this is the, therefore for us a demonstration of how he himself chose the road of emptiness, chose the road of nothingness. Jesus Christ said, humble and you will be exalted. Empty yourself and you project the presence of God. I believe this is the road that he has taken and also that is displayed at his death. And this is remarkable. This is admirable. There might not be a lot of human dignitaries who are there, who were invited. But I, but I believe the heavenly dignitaries are already in attendance to him. With Jesus Christ himself, the master, telling him, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come, enjoy the glory of your master. You and I can only remember now Pope Benedict XVI, man of Christ, man of the church, to be imitated in his love for the church, love for the faith, and then able to live the love of his life in that greatness, yet meekness and humility in the way that he, he behaved himself. Pope Benedict, I thank you. I thank God for the times I have seen, I have heard, 
I have encountered you, I have known you when I was still in the eternal city of Rome. So now, rest in peace and pray for us, humanity, who need prayers the most to live our faith in the way you did and to proclaim the faith as well and witness it in our daily lives as the way you did, especially in that virtue of humility, meekness, and simplicity. Eternal rest grant unto Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. God bless. And I am the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening, and please subscribe if you have not, if you have not done so, and share this video to others.